Hi viewer, today I would like to show you how to do the vMotion and storage vMotion in vSphere environment. To make this happen successfully, I have made a lab environment in my laptop using VMware Workstation. As you see, I have two ESX server virtual machines and one open file sandbox virtual machine along with a VC virtual machine. If you see the networking uh, for these virtual machines, they are all having IP addresses from 192.168.1.0 range. And this is the hardware which I configured for the ESX servers. Using the same configuration, you can configure a lab in your uh, laptop or desktop using VMware workstation application. So in my VC, I already added the two ESX servers, as you see. And uh, I have configured the storage from the open filer for these two ESX servers to make the things happen successfully. For the vMotion and storage vMotion, the SAN storage is a mandatory requirement. So I have installed the virtual machines using uh, Ubuntu image. So it's already installed and running. It's currently residing on 1.4, the first ESX server. So he, I am trying to log in into the Ubuntu virtual machine to show how the vMotion and the storage vMotion works when the virtual machine is online. I am trying to open a console to make sure the connectivity between the ESX server and virtual machine is going to be continued. vMotion is a technology with which we can uh, migrate the virtual machine from one ESX server to another ESX server without downtime. The same thing I want to show you in this video. Now I have opened two consoles in Ubuntu virtual machine and uh, I am pinging my two ESX servers from th those consoles to make sure the connectivity is going on between these things. While the ping is continuing, I'll migrate this virtual machine from first ESX server to another ESX server. The main difference between vMotion and storage vMotion is when we migrate the virtual machine using vMotion, the reference of the virtual machine will be moved from one physical host to, to another physical host. But in case of storage vMotion, the reference it will itself will be moved from one storage to another storage. It's an extra extraordinary technology. Now I'm trying to check the validation. So I have initiated the vMotion from uh, first physical host to second physical host. After the vMotion is completed, this virtual machine will be residing on 1.5, that means the second ESX server. As you see, the ping is still continuing and the, in the background, the vMotion is going on. Maybe for a while, uh, between 2 to 5 seconds the virtual machine will be disconnected from the console that is the only downtime which we will get while the vMotion is going on in production environments it doesn't happen like uh, the, the downtime will be very negligible like 1 second or 2 seconds because of the production network speeds the production environments will be having a, a dedicated uh, network for vMotion and a dedicated network for storage so Obviously, this thing will be migrated using the dedicated network, so it will be happen very fastly, very quickly, without any downtime. And I would like to thank you for all the viewers for uh, reading my blog and coming to my videos. And this is my first video with voiceover. Please ignore my mistakes if any.
as you see the virtual machine got disconnected from the console uh, because of the memory is uh, going to be migrated in this situation that is what we call it as quasking in VMware so the vMotion is completed and the virtual machine is now moved to 1.5 the secondary ESX server and it's still powered on and the ping is still continuing now I would like to show you how to do the storage vMotion I got some problems with the memory I think the memory is not sufficient uh, to finish the storage vMotion at this moment so I would like uh, I have to fix that error and I have to come back now I fix the error and I'm trying to do the storage vMotion I did I just increase the memory for 2ESX servers now uh, I can do the storage vMotion so as you see this virtual machine is currently residing on storage 1 now I would like to store change the data store from storage 1 to storage 2 So the process is initiated while the ping is continuing. This is the same case, case as in uh, vMotion because uh, nothing will be, uh, will never get any downtime, nothing will be disturbed. While the vMotion is uh, going on, we can do our work on the virtual machine. In this case, uh, whatever the files which are related to the virtual machine are moved from the storage 1 data store to storage 2 data store that means we are physically migrating all the files from one sandbox to another sandbox I, this is happens if we have some storage maintenance or storage upgrade something like that this is a very straightforward and simple process and uh, in production environments if you if you are not configured the ESX servers properly or if you doesn't have uh, the compatible uh, storage boxes you will face some problems it takes some time to migrate the virtual machine from one data store to another data store because it has to copy all the vmdk files and all the virtual machines files from one data store to another data store as you see it's going to be completed in few seconds yeah now it's completed everything is going successfully and uh, if you see the storage box is now storage 2 data store thanks for uh, viewing my video i hope you enjoy it thank you